Hey guys, welcome to The Art of Comics with me, Andre Salazar. Today, we're gonna talk about Dennis the Menace. This is the first issue by Marvel Comics, Dennis the Menace. We're gonna kinda do a deep dive on this because in this channel, we don't just talk about illustration or uh, graphic novels. Sometimes we just gotta talk about the floppies. And um, looking at this in my box today, I was like, man, this really is pretty freaking brilliant. And I wanna go through this, I wanna go through kind of the techniques that they're using and just kind of shed a light on some really brilliant storytelling and sequential art. So let's flip the camera over and check it out. Let's do it. Okay guys, I'm excited to have you here with me today. One of the things we learn is do not discount the level of craftsmanship because of the genre. You might say, oh, I don't wanna read Dennis the Menace. You know, I'm into, you know, horror comics or I'm into Alan Moore or what have you. But there is storytelling magic in this book and I just discovered it and I wanna share it with you guys. First thing to note is the creator, the, the rather the writer and the artist of this book is nowhere to be found. His name is not mentioned anywhere in print. There is a little signature here, but I couldn't read. I wasn't sure what it said. I looked everywhere online. I finally did find a place for it. His name is Hank Ketchum. And Hank Ketchum is um, the artist for this and the writer. So Hank Ketchum knows what he's doing. Can we just say that? And uh, I was super impressed with this work. So let's take a look at it. Uh, and I can share with you why I'm so excited about it. Okay, here we go. First thing we're gonna notice right off the bat is this really beautiful hammock-like lettering here with uh, this character. I mean, just great characters. Great, um, simplistic, expressive line. So smooth. It really is really, really quite clever. Just enough line and information to make out what it is, right? And to tell the story. Just enough detail to make this feel three-dimensional and realistic, or you know, give us that sense of you know, groundedness that it's not just floating, uh, but not too much detail. I mean, that is, that is a, a challenge and a gift and a skill to do. Just looking at this, I mean, I was just really impressed with the panels, the characters, they're very recognizable. They're just classically drawn, just, and they're and they and they move from panel to panel, and we know what they are. There's the uh, continuity of of character draw. Even something like, like as simple as this car, it's actually kind of hard to do. That's not that easy to draw it like this. Uh, you can look at some like Alex Toth and some animation kind of work, and you'll see how the economy of line and the ability to like draw something with such limited number of lines is quite, quite brilliant. And so um, I just thought this was really cool. A lot of cool little gags here. I like the movement in this stuff. Um, and then he has a great use of um, silhouettes as well. So we use these silhouettes at certain times uh, which really work well. This is a good one. I really like this with the lamp, the uh, I mean, the um, little table with the telephone and the stairs and the railing and him all going in black. This is kind of neat. Yeah, it's just kind of, it's actually really hard to draw like this. This is a challenge. And if you look at the line work, it's all very clean, very smooth. All these lines are inked just like perfection. It really is impressive. So I thought just like looking at this, I'm like, wow, this guy really is drawing his buns off. You really can tell how this is um, just really well done. And the dog here coming up. Really cool ideas in here. Remember these ads? I used to, as a kid, I used to go through these ads and look at them and read them and like, you know, oh, I wish I could do this Kung Fu class or I want this dinosaur and, you know, it's so funny. Yeah, the father's great. 
just just the expression, right? That's that's what we're trying to do in comics is create emotion, bring that emotion across so that the emotion of the drawing matches the the dialogue and what's happening in the story. It's really well done. These are great gags here. These faces are like days that they're taking care of Dennis and the stress they give this is a nice panel too check this out this has got a nice a lot of different stuff going on but it's not overly cluttered we can tell what everything is light bulb a car baseball a slipper a cup with the with a spoon in it you know you can see everything a bicycle yeah I dig it Really cool. It'd be fun to like redraw some of this and just kind of like, kind of like see how he does this. And and everything too is pretty pretty well established in perspective, three dimensional space here. Like that couch there that looks nice. Even here the kitchen. So there's backgrounds. It's not like nowadays you'll like see some sans backgrounds or like a manga style, but no, they're doing backgrounds on every panel. Something's going on here. You know, there's stuff here to keep it interesting, visually interesting. Again, the silhouette technique, we'll see that a number of times. Um, really cool, I thought this was really fun. Really impressive uh, by his work. And um, it's a shame that they don't have his, you know, the artist on here at all. I'm, I'm really kind of, perplexed why that is the case this was in 81 so they did they did say who the artist was uh, so I don't know why they don't do that in the these um, but yeah that's my take on Dennis the Menace thanks a lot for watching if you want to support this channel please go check out my patreon go look at that go see if any of that interests you you could be a part of the the channel that way also subscribe to the channel that helps and uh, like the video so thanks a lot and I'll talk to you later bye